I'm in the same position as last time because today, because I am doing a spoiler video. Yeah, I'm gonna be telling you all spoilers. So I will just tell you guys the beginning. So the beginning happens as there's this haunted hotel and this guy. I think it would be kind of more cool if I uh, put the, the weather when I thunder nights. So, I'll sit here and tell the whole story. So, um, so it starts off as a, as a day and this tourist get, like, they kind of make up like a thing for a tourist attraction at the haunted hotel. And he, had, and he's like, that door hasn't been open since, I don't know, like, 500 years or something like that. So he tells that and I see that candle. He has like a remote control on it. He can't reach the He has a hip and he's like and then he's then he looks behind him and I think like a book falls off or something like that. Like the door no, the door opens by itself. And uh, and he goes in and there is a ghost of course there. And probably the freakiest ghost of all time. It was freaky, trust me. Um, I'm sort of relaxed and tell the story. Uh, I can't so relax. Oh, I can't. Oh no. Uh, so then there's this teacher and she's like, she's trying to practice for this speech, I think. made it in high school and um and so I'm trying to think. Oh, control. I'm trying to think. Uh so he was like, are you the author? And she was like, oh uh, no. And um she was like, what? And the guy was like, but that's your name. And I was like, okay, I did write it. And then she went over to her friend her friend's house in high school that they wrote it together. And she told her not to, like, release it, and she did, that was a super joke person. And her and this other lady uh, were, like, big people up here. And, like, but, but the lady got fired then, and that's when the bad stuff happened. So, um, the lady got fired, and she, and then she joined this team to be uh, in the paranormal squad. So they find out this hotel is haunted and they go there and they like see all this weird stuff and then the EVP starts ringing or whatever and whatnot and it's called uh, but, but then they see the ghost and it's pretty creepy I will admit uh, but I was watching in 3D and it was the worst 3D of my life uh, it was horrible 3D was So it just the ghost came up and it vomited on the lady. And uh, it wasn't pretty. So then they find out there's like ghost sightings all over the town and then the lady that works at the subway station, like she sees a ghost and they went go to the subway place and the guy is spray painting something and it's the original Ghostbusters logo, which was kinda bad. Um so they go up to this ghost there and they actually trap it. So then they get like famous and, uh, and they think it's and a lot of people think it's fake. So then all of a sudden like there's this one evil guy who's like controlling all the ghosts. And and he like lives <laughs> he lives in like a, a hotel basement where he works. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but then he has like this whole creepy place in, in his living place. He's in place like ten times. Uh, so then they go there and they see and they see it and they're like, what the heck? I might be missing a lot of things. Huh. They're like, oh my god, what the heck? So they go back. Oh, and they acquired this new guy, I think it was James or something like that. And the one lady liked him. Huh. And so then they, then, that's when 
that's when well, the one soup lady, she went to the sink and the creepy guy who already killed himself, uh, he just hurt, he put his dead spirit into her body and then she was like, hello, and then we were like, So people thought they were, it was fake yeah, when they had And so then they, they were like, she was like, hello, something, something. And then she she like carried the one, the one lady with the messed up hair. And she threw her at the window. And I was like, ooh, that must hurt. But she didn't throw her out. It just looked like it really hurt. And then the and then the subway lady, which was my favorite character by far, um, just went up to her, you don't hurt my friend like that, and she smacked her in the face in the spear pan. And she and then the super lady was like, ah, that's gonna leave a mark. Then then uh, then the late lady, subway lady, she was like, you don't. Again. And the ghost is already out, and she she smacks her again. And it looked like it hurt, and she was like, "Oh, that's gonna leave the man bar." And it was cut. That was kind of funny. Um, so then they find about this creepy guy in the bottom of a hotel, and uh, I think the mayor doesn't believe him. Uh, so they find this creepy guy that's in the bottom of the hotel. It's like designing all these ghosts, and. Oh wait, the creepy guy possesses, uh, then the creepy, this guy James, he's outside, and he's like, Okay guys, I was born to be a Ghostbuster! And, uh, and, uh, he, the ghost just went in and he was like, Hello. And then he went down to the guy who killed himself, his creepy lair, and made all the ghosts alive again. They took a, overtook the city and it was up to the Ghostbusters to save them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, so they do all these killing ghosts. I thought the original Ghostbusters should have came in. Uh, so, then, yeah, they kill all these ghosts and then there's one, oh, the original ghost who's in the logo of the Ghostbusters. He's the last one standing. And they get him in like this portal, but Soup Lady falls in the portal. Oh no! And um, so all of a sudden, like this one lady who wrote the book went in to try to save the Soup Lady, they, and they both get out with with white hair somehow. Which is kind of weird. I will admit, they look like they're somehow 60 or 70 years old. Pretty crazy. Well, uh, but anyway, guys, that was the end of the movie, and I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I hope you guys thought it was kind of cool to put it here on the fire. And the thunder and the background. So, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave, hit the like button, subscribe to my friend Beastie and Grizzly if you want. And I will see you guys. In the 500 subscriber mark video, yay! Thank you. 1,500 subscriber mark. Thank you. Bye. Oh, guys, I am in the same position as last time because today, because I am doing a spoiler video. Yeah, I'm gonna be telling you all spoilers. So I will just tell you guys the beginning. So the beginning happens as there's this haunted hotel and this guy. I think it would be kind of more cool if I. Uh, put the, the weather when I thunder night other by the fireplace. I think that would be kind of cool. So, I'll sit here and tell the whole story. So, um, so it starts off as a, as a day and this tourist get, like, they kind of make up like a thing for a tourist attraction at the haunted hotel. And he had, and he's like, that, that door hasn't been open since I don't know, like five hundred years or something like that. So he tells that and they see that candle. He has like a remote control and the camera just goes out. He goes at him and he's like and then he's then he looks behind him and I think like a book like, falls off or something like that. Like the door no, the door opens. And, uh, and he 
goes in and there is a ghost of course there. Eh? Probably the freakiest ghost of all time. It was freaky, trust me, it was. Um I'm sort of relaxed after the story. Uh, I can't I'm relax. Oh I can't. Oh no. Uh, so then there's this teacher and she's like She's trying to practice for the speech, I think. And this, and this guy comes up to her and he says, like, are you the author of, like, it was something ghost with her? Her and her friends made it in high school. And, um, and so I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, so he's like, are you the author? And she's like, oh, uh, no. And, um, she was like, what? And the guy was like, that's your name. And I was like, okay, I did write it. And then she went over to her, fr her friend's house in high school that they wrote it together. And she told her not to, like, release it. And she did. That was a super joke person. And her and this other lady uh, were, like, big people up here. And, like, but the lady got fired then, and that's when the bad stuff happened. So, um, the lady got fired, and she, and then she joins this team to be in the paranormal squad. So they find out this hotel is haunted, and they go there. And they, like, see all this weird stuff, and then the EVP starts ringing or whatever and whatnot. And it's called, uh, but... But then they see the ghost, and it's pretty creepy, I will admit, uh, but I was watching it in 3D, and it was the worst 3D of my life. Uh, it was horrible. 3D was kind of bad. So, it just, the ghost came up, and it vomited on the TV, and uh, it wasn't pretty. So then they find out there's, like, ghost sightings all over the town, and then the lady that works at the subway station, like, she sees a ghost, and they went, go to the subway place, and the guy is spray-painting something, and it's the original Ghostbusters logo, which was kind of bad. Um, so they go up to this ghost there, and they actually trap it. So then they get, like, famous, and, uh, and they think it's, and a lot of people think it's fake. So then all of a sudden, like, there's this one evil guy who's like controlling all the ghosts, and and he like lives he lives in like a, a hotel basement where he works. It's pretty funny. Um, but then he has like this whole creepy place in, in his living place. He's in the place like ten times. Uh, so then they go there and they see and they see it. They're like, I might be missing a lot of things. Huh. They're like, oh my god, what the heck? So they go back. Oh, and they acquired this new guy. I think it was James or something like that. And the one lady liked him. Huh. And so then they... Then... That's when well, the one soup lady, she went to the sink. And the creepy guy who already killed himself, uh, he just... He put his dead spirit into her body, and then she was like, hello, and then we were like, oh, my God. oh and they killed the ghost before that, I think, but people have to think they're kind of Oh, why am I talking about this? Oh. So people thought they were, they were it was fake, and it was mad. And so then they, they were like, she was like, hello, something, something, and then she thought, she like carried the one, the one lady with the messed up hair, and she threw her at the window, and I was like, ooh, it must hurt. But she didn't throw her out. It just looked like it really hurt. And then the, and then the subway lady, which was my favorite character by far, um, just went up to her, you don't hurt my friend like that, and she smacked her in the face, and the spear came out. And she, and then the super lady was like, ah, that's gonna leave a mark. Then, then, uh, then the late lady, subway lady, she was like, you don't hurt my friend, 
happened again? And the ghost is already out, and she she smacks her again. And it looked like it hurt. And she was like, oh, that's gonna leave a bad bar. And it was kind of, that was kind of funny. Um, so then they find about this creepy guy in the bottom of a hotel. And uh, I think the mayor doesn't believe them. Uh, so they find this creepy guy that's in the bottom of a hotel. It's like designing all these ghosts. And, oh wait, the creepy guy possesses, uh, then the creep, the, this guy James, he's outside, he's like, Okay guys, I was born to be a Ghostbuster. And, uh, and, uh, he, the ghost just went in and he was like, hello. And then he went, he, was, he, was like, he went down to the guy who killed himself, his creepy lair, and made all the ghosts alive again. They took her, overtook the city and it was up to the Ghostbusters to save them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and the, so they do all these killing ghosts. I thought the original Ghostbusters should have came in. Uh, so, then, yeah, they kill all these ghosts and there's one, oh, the original ghost who's in the logo of the Ghostbusters, he's the last one standing. And they get him in like this portal, but Soup Lady falls in the portal. Oh no! And um, so all of a sudden, like this one lady who wrote the book went in to try to save the Soup Lady, they, and they both get out with with white hair somehow. Which is kind of weird. I will admit, they look like they are somehow 60 or 70 years old. Pretty crazy. Well, uh, but anyway, guys, that was the end of the movie, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, I hope you guys thought it was kind of cool to put it here on the fire. And the thunder in the background. So, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave, hit the like button, subscribe to my friend Beastie and Grizzly if you want. And I will see you guys. In the 500 subscriber mark video. Yay! Thank you. 1,500 subscriber mark. Thank you. Bye.